What do you want since I've gone and fled? Probably Jenna Marble's sexy stare. He's super lame and been working instead. Nobody fucking cares. You probably unsubscribed. Ballsack. YouTube, what's going down? After that intro, I'm sure you can see why someone with a voice that sounds like they smoked 12 packs of cigarettes a day should not be the tenor of uh, orchestra or choir. I don't know why you have a tenor in your orchestra of string instruments. Yes, I've been gone for a while and I'll explain that all in my live stream this Wednesday, March 6th. Point is, I'm back this month. I'm making two YouTube videos every single week, including a live stream every week. Streaming th three times the me. There's something else that's three times the me. <sighs> it's talking about my penis and balls. I think that makes sense. So you guys, skateboarding scarred me. And obviously skateboarding has scarred physically a lot of people, including me. But I used to do my fair share of skateboarding in junior high and high school. In fact, previous to junior high, I was a soul skater. What up, Team Puffin' Suds? If you get that reference, you are amazing. And if you don't, you are probably way too young and don't remember the Disney Channel original movie, Brink, starring Eric Von Denton, the dude with the hair that always looked kind of greasy but amazing and you wanted that when you were a kid. I used to just wet my hair down during the day to make it look like that. There's your proof. Back then, I'd even go even more 90s and wear like the Jinko jeans chain wallet with like an eight ball in the back with a picture of Jennifer Love Hewitt in it because the best movie in the world to this date is still can't hardly wait. It's all about the memories, bro. But this particular situation that I found myself in in junior high was like my first time really feeling the cruel whip of the world. Now think of me, junior high, bright-eyed, super awkward, I have no idea how to talk to people, crazy, skinny, uh, I... How else do I describe it? Nerd? But I was a nerd with some pride. I think I carried it pretty well. But for being a nerd, I didn't get very good grades or much respect from the teachers because in fact, in seventh grade, we were in teams. Like the whole seventh grade was split into three teams. I was on alpha and eventually throughout the entire year, everyone got to be student of the month. They had like seven kids as student of the month every single month. And I was the only person on the entire team that did not get student of the month once. The huge Bosnian kid named Shethik who threw a basketball point blank at the principal's head was eventually student of the month and I never got it. Well look at me now miss seventh grade teacher that I forgot your name. I'm on YouTube making videos for pennies. The point is I was pretty naive to the world and I believe it was on my 12th or 13th birthday I got this incredible gift. Now previous to this gift I had been skating on just like the shittiest of boards. Like a Kmart brand Nash skateboard with like plastic trucks on it. I used to throw it up in the air, me jump up and have my mom take a picture of me in midair so it looked like I was doing a kickflip. Oh god. <laughs> But the point is, my aunt got me a pro deck and pro setup skateboard. It was all just like top of the line, everything, like Alien Workshop board, Tensor mid trucks, I had Blackbone Swiss bearings, when back then Blackbone Swiss bearings were like, uh, so choice. <laughs> and so immediately I decided I'm gonna go straight to the local skate park and just show this puppy off, just cruising. I went to the skate park and I was like, just learning how to drop in, I felt so cool being like, Oh, what up, guys? Boom, I just can roll around. I'm fucking the coolest. But in my mind, everyone was just like staring at me like, oh man, that lanky ass motherfucker's looking good. Eventually, I need to take a break, you know what I mean? I get on the top of the ramp, I pull out my Capri Sun, snap it in, and then just start sipping around, looking at the other skateboarders, seeing how not cool they are on their used ass boards. When eventually, an older, like, 18-year-old dude comes up and approaches me. I'm thinking, I am just so cool. I'm talking to this 18-year-old. He thinks I'm really cool. And he starts talking to me about my skateboard. He's just like, man, dude, that board is so fresh, man. It's looking really awesome. Do you mind if, you mind if I try it out really quick? I just want to try out a board like this fresh. Can you try it out? Of course you can. I am, like, the coolest 12 to 13-year-old here on the street. You can absolutely throw it down. So I give him my board and he's just doing these tricks that I always wish I could do. Like spectacular ollies and kick flips. But I'm watching in awe. This guy has turned into my new idol. I'm gonna look up to this guy for the rest of my life. 
As I'm sitting there pondering my new mentorship with this 18 year old, he says to me, Hey dude, I'm gonna try some grinds on those picnic tables behind you. Yeah dude, grind away, that is amazing. So he skates kinda right behind me, and I'm not really paying attention, this dude's my new bro, man. And he ended up just skating behind me into a car that was parked right there and driving right away. And I don't know this until like another 13 year old approaches me and is like, uh, dude, I think that dude just stole your board. What are you talking about? This is my new mentor, he wouldn't take my skate, what the fuck? But as my 12 to 13 year old self, I freak out, I panic, I immediately call the police. The police get there, they start asking me questions, do you know the kid's name? I, I, I don't know. What kind of car was he driving? A uh, silver one? Cool, so I've just described every single car out on the road right now being driven by a kid. Policeman writes this all down in his book and he puts me in his car, he's like, all right kid, I'm gonna take you home. So I'm feeling a little bit of justice right here because I know the cops are really gonna work hard to find my board, but in the meantime, I was like, shit, I'm out of board. So I asked the policeman, uh, so when will I get my replacement board? He's just like, what do you mean? No, I mean, this guy stole mine, so you guys are gonna replace mine, right? And for some crazy reason, I thought that the police just replaced your shit when it got stolen by assholes. As it turns out, they don't. As it also turns out, that's about the point that a 12 to 13 year old starts to cry in the back of a police car until his mom comes out and reassures him that everything's gonna be okay. <laughs> Long story short, I got Leave It to Beavered. You ever seen that movie? He gets his bike stolen, but in the end, at least he gets some retribution. Unfortunately, some douche clown still out there riding my board, or it's just in his basement somewhere. But that moment when I realized that this world, a lot of times, isn't fair, deeply scarred me in my ability to, like, trust strangers with my shit. Guys, that's all I got for you today, but there's another video coming out this week, another scarred story. I got a live stream tomorrow, March 6th. Make sure to watch it. And in the description, you can find me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Make sure to go on that stuff, that social media. And also, I'll put in the description a link to the new series that I'm working on for Red Bull's music channel. Go check that out. It helps me stay employed. All right, guys, I love you. I'm in love with you.